Hey everyone, it's Adele and April from Just Say Scrap with Close to My Heart and we are here with our 70th Technique Tuesday. And it's cold outside. It is so cold, <laughs> but you can see our beautiful view above us. Um, so we are still working on our New Year's resolution, which is getting in shape for our cruise, our incentive trip, which you all helped us earn. So thank you, thank yes. you so much. Yes, thank you. So before we freeze, we're gonna get into Technique Tuesday. So here we go. So as you can see, we have all of these beautiful colors laid out here. And today we are actually going to be doing stamp shading. So we are continuing down that Stamping 101 path. And we are jumping a little bit into next month's kit of the month. So we are actually using the I Heart Us scrapbooking kit. And we are going to be making some of our cards, which you will be seeing coming up in our kit of the month. So I have... All of the color palettes laid out here. These are the beautiful colors that are going to be used in this kit. So to start off, I have my white daisy cards and envelopes, and I have my bone folder here. Remember, always use your bone folder, fold towards the wrong way. The bump is going to be folded towards the bump. And then you're gonna have our card. So we're gonna put this to the side for a second. Just to remind you that the cards, if you wanted to use your handy dandy Versa mat here, they are four and a quarter by five and a half. So that is the card that you will be working with. However, this technique requires us to use a, a piece of cardstock that is actually different than just white because we are going to be using our white pigment ink as well. So I'm going to be taking the mint cardstock out of the pack and we are going to be, see this is the darker side, we're going to be using the light two-tone side of it. And I am going to make, so because I'm prepping a kit, I'm gonna make sure that I can make three of each of these designs. So I'm actually going to go and how we like to do them, we always base the paper a little bit less than what it is gonna be on the card. I always like to have a small border around the outside. So I'm gonna cut this first at five and a quarter. And then to make sure that I can make three cu three cards out of it, I'm gonna cut it at four inches as well. And I'm just gonna do that twice so I have my three sheets to make my cards with. This is also just a fun card trick. If you are making multiples, just take that extra quarter of an inch off the edge You'll get that beautiful outline of the white, and you'll also save cardstock in the end because you can cut things by fours. So, just a fun little fact there. Throwing that back on there. And using this mint, I don't know if you saw the color difference before. I just wanted to point that out. This is darker, this is the lighter. We're going to be using the lighter side. Flipping my Versa mat over, we are going to be using the I Heart Us card making stamp, this beautiful stamp right here. And to do that, we need our blocks. So this is the designer travel case, the block holder, if you can see all of our beautiful blocks in here. So mama, I'm gonna pass this over to you. Of course, thank you. And this is one of our brand new stamps, so we do have to season them. So my little helper over here will probably be seasoning all of them for me. Yes, I will. <laughs> so. Behind the scenes. Behind seasoning. the scenes, yes. Yeah. <laughs> You're funny, okay. So. To start off, I'm just gonna stamp the thanks onto the page, but for the uh, stamp shading, we're going to be using all of these little flowers around the outside. So she will be putting those together for us while I start with the thanks. So let's find a block that's good for this. I'm going to take the one by three and a half. Remember, if you wanna lay it out, do that. Got it. Oops, I missed the block a little bit. Hold on. Perfect. There we go. And remember to season your stamp. Now this technique is really, really cool looking. And you could put the thanks wherever you want. It's actually, I'll do two of them at the same time to kind of show you a difference that you can do here. I'm going to be taking my black ink for this just because it is my saying. So we're gonna take the black. This is not gonna have the shade stamping. This is just gonna be in the normal black ink, but I wanted to put it down first to show you how to work around. 
you're saying. And I wanted to put it in a few different places. So I'm just going to do all three at the same time. To give you some ideas on how you can take the same card and switch it up a little bit. Hmm, where do I want to put this one? I'm going to put it over this way a little. So now that we have that and we have our season stamps here, I'm going to close my black, put it off to the side. I'm going to grab my white daisy pigment ink and this is where things get fun. So we're going to take this pigment ink and remember pigment ink does take a little bit to dry. It is, how would you describe this? Stickier? Yes, it's stickier. Well, you, you, you can use it for embossing. So you want something that you emboss to stay wet longer. Yes. So I'm going to be putting some leaves down. It's very hard to see on your end, but I can see it where it is on my end. Let's see if I pick this up. Do you see the white? I think you can see it a little bit. You can see it shimmering there, but you will be seeing it in a second. So we are going to throw these to the side quickly and I'm going to clean this, our spritz cleaner here and our stamp scrubber pop it open fun thing about this it has feet so you don't even have to move it you can actually just clean it on top like that off to the side and then i'm going to take what i just had and we're going to take the lagoon i think that's what we said right yes, open this up and i'm gonna ink that up. Now excuse me if you see my head a little bit. I have to see where I'm going. So we're going to go right over it. You want to offset it a tiny bit. Yes. Over it. And do you see how the pigment ink actually lightens the color and then you have the shading on the outside. I missed up here a little bit, but you can still see the texture. So I'm gonna do this again. If you have a darker piece of paper, it's sometimes easier. Isn't that cool looking? I am getting a little bit of white pigment on my ink pad here, but I can clean that off afterwards. Our ink pads are actually pretty easy to clean, wouldn't you say? Mm -hmm. Yes. So do you see how it gives it that shade? And even though I'm off a little bit, it looks really cool. Right. Well, you're supposed to be, you're supposed to offset it to get those yes. different shades. But I mean, I mean, I mean, I missed. <laughs> oh, <laughs> but, okay. Oops. That was my bad. <laughs> but see, look, it just goes to show you that if you miss, there's no mistakes in scrapbooking. I actually think it looks cool. What? I do too. So let's do this one. Whoops, clean, please. Yes, yes, <clears throat> There's also so many different, like this is, this one is not one I use. I use this one actually. This is another leaf that you can use in here. I'm gonna close up my lagoon for now. And I'm gonna go to the raspberry. Remember the raspberry, this is how the new ink pads are. So don't worry, they're not gonna be the swivels. They are like this now. All right, we've got that cleaned. Going to our raspberry. This is one of my favorite colors. I think it's because I'm a uh, Princess Aurora is my favorite color, uh, my favorite princess, and this is her color. <laughs> make it pink. I'm gonna make, make it, it blue. Pink. No, I'm gonna make it pink, girl. <laughs> and do you see? You can see it slightly on the sides there. I'm not in my camera. But it gives it that cool. It looks like it's a shade, mm -hmm. which I think is awesome. And then we've got the little itty bitty dot here that I'm just going to take. Should I take Bluebird? Bluebird oh, would be pretty. Bluebird. Yeah, that would work out pretty. Just to do the inside, you don't actually have to shade the inside. I mean, you can if you want to, but I don't think that's necessary. And it does come with a circle if you'd like to. Shade Isn't that it. cool? But just something simple like this. And you could even do all, honestly, all of this before you put down the thanks too. I wanted to put the thanks down to kind of see where I wanted to go on the card. But just to give you what it could look like. 
You got to have to remember to let it dry out. Yes, you start definitely. It because the pigment ink takes a little bit. But you can do this. And then what also comes in the workshop is the black shimmer trim. So if you throw just a piece of the shimmer trim on the edge there. And we also have these gorgeous sequins. I've taken them out of the bag. They are the I Heart Us sequins. You could throw these on here as well. Look how beautiful any of these colors would look. So you could go back and use the triangle technique. So that is base and shade stamping. We will finish up these cards and show you our final results. And that is our Technique Tuesday. We hope you like the finished stamping and the base and shading. And if you even want to give it a little bit more shimmer, you can take a clear shimmer brush and just do a simple little brush stroke. Yeah. That's so cool. Underneath the thanks, and it actually makes the thanks now pop out a little bit. Do you see that shimmer underneath? I don't know if you can see it on there. But that's... Technique Tuesday. And that's Technique Tuesday. Thank you for watching. We hope you enjoyed. If you have any questions, please let us know. And our weekend, I will put the sign up form sheet, the page in the below. <laughs> Registration. Yeah, <form>. that. <laughs> I will put that below. Um, so any of you that still want to sign up, there are some spots. So please Ooh. sign up. And if you have any questions about us, let us know. And thank you to our new subscribers out there. Thank you all for sticking with us through this new year as well. Hope you guys all are back to work and having fun at least a little bit. So, okay, I think that's everything, right? Okay, yeah. We'll see you next Tuesday. Bye. Bye. All of these beautiful beautiful boiler and today's technique is going to be sh stamp shading <laughs> I hot I hot <laughs> and then we also have these gorgeous oh, yeah. sequins these so <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>